My name is Megan Kuda and this is my CF story. I was diagnosed with CF when I was six months old. Um, I had symptoms that were failure to thrive and multiple cases of pneumonia. When I was diagnosed with CF, my family, um, I think they had a hard time with it. Um, at the time, the life expectancy, the median was about 14 years and the doctors kept telling them how many patients they had that had made it to 18 as if that was supposed to make them feel better. My mom was very honest with me. She always called my medicines exactly what they were and by their names and you know, told me that I had a treatment and I think my knowledge of CF probably expanded as I grew. Probably when I was in elementary school I, I realized how serious it was and that was really because of kids teasing. One particular boy that I lived near went around and told everybody in the neighborhood that I was going to die when I turned 14 and of course there's no magic switch that you drop dead when you're 14. I think growing up with CF for me it was definitely different than a lot of kids with CF. I was sick as an infant and a toddler and then after that I really wasn't sick again until I was in seventh or eighth grade. So I had a good run um, that I really could deny that anything was wrong with me. When I got to to be in junior high that's when it started to affect me a little bit more and I had to start taking inhaled antibiotics and and doing more therapy and and by the time I got to high school, I got admitted to the hospital for the first time. Uh, probably my greatest fear with CF was you know, kind of related to, to not surviving it, but not being able to accomplish the things I wanted to accomplish in life. Go to college and hold down a real job and get married. And I know they definitely didn't expect me to have kids. And that was something I definitely wanted to do. I have two kids and they're great. Toby is just turned four and in love with anything that has anything to do with trucks and firefighters and police and especially superheroes. And then we also have a two-year-old, Taylor, and she's just a little princess. She's very opinionated and very stubborn, but really sweet. Uh, my husband teaches high school physics and he was an engineer and just really felt called to go back and, and teach high school students. Um, which is sort of related to how we met. We met doing a youth group for high school students and got to see each other at our best and worst. Fortunately, you know, God gave me a husband that is able to look past the, the CF and see me and realize that, you know, I might not live as long as he does, but other people, you know, lose their spouses because they get hit by a bus. So, you know, trying to predict the future is really not up to us. And so that's, that was a good thing to find. And, and be able to have our family. Today, kids with CF aren't really allowed to be in interaction with each other because they've learned so much about the sharing bacteria and making each other sick. But when I was a kid, there was all kind of CF play groups. All the CF kids would go and play together. We had a CF picnic every summer. We had a CF Christmas party. So I knew a lot of kids with CF, um, but all of those kids that I grew up with have already died from CF. The first friend that I lost to CF, I was in elementary school. And I really don't remember it, but I know it kind of set my parents into a panic because they thought I was depressed. My other friends I lost as an adult, and that was a lot harder because I was finally old enough to see you know, the effect that that could have. Some of them were married, some of them had children, um, to see the effect that it had on their parents. It, you know, it's weird when you have a chronic disease that you have for your entire life, you don't really know life without it. And I may not have been as sick as my friends, but I've definitely still had days where I can't get up and do anything. I can't walk across the room because I'm too short of breath. I can't sleep all night because I'm coughing the entire night. So it definitely can still affect me. It's hard when I'm you know, out in public and coughing so much that I can't really explain myself, but everybody's getting up and moving away from me because they think I have some contagious thing that I'm gonna share with them. So to be able to understand that you know, what I have is not something you're gonna get sick from. Um, I remember when I was in junior high, they found the gene that caused CF, and we all thought that the cure was going to be right around the corner. But there's so many new and exciting things going on in CF research right now. Um, there's new drugs out there that for some people with CF are actually improving their lung function. So it's fixing the basic defect. Until now, the only thing they could do for CF was treat the symptoms. Different medications to, you know, kind of mask the symptoms and slow the progression of the disease and you end up with a big medicine cabinet that you have to keep track of every day. The things that are coming out in research now for CF really have a good potential of working and the excitement this year 
is just amazing. I've never seen people be so excited and and so believable that you know CF might actually be cured in my lifetime, and I really think that it will be. There there is an end in sight, but at the same time, you know, take care of yourself and keep fighting because um, you're worth it.